Hi guys! I just happened to be at a mall where one of the new Zellers locations opened up. For those of you who don't know, Zellers is a Canadian department store, but it went out of business, I want to say the last store closed in 2013 or something like that. But yeah, for all my Canadian folks out there, you guys will know if you're around my age, then you'll probably remember Zellers. It's not a standalone location, it is in Hudson's Bay but it seems to be pretty big. I think it's supposed to be about 8,000 square feet or something. So I am going to go inside and check that out. It's gonna be nice to kind of have like a different department store besides Walmart. <laughs> Cause I know in the States, like they have a whole bunch of different department stores. So it'll be nice to kind of see what the Zellers is like and if it can compare to what it was when I was a child so this will be interesting i'm gonna try and vlog inside the store uh show you guys some of what i can find maybe there'll be some goodies i don't know but we'll see all right so right off the bat walking in i was super impressed because i did see these adorable pink dishes and only 39 dollars for the dish set 12 pieces which i thought was amazing the next item that I saw were these three tier trolley carts. Honestly, they were kind of expensive for what they were, but still really cute, had really cute colors. And turning the corner here, we do have some placemats. $14 for a placemat is kind of pricey, but I guess they were pretty good quality. And they had a lot of like jars and food storage containers as well. Here are those carts that I was talking about. Beautiful colors, but they were about $79. These are just some bath towels here. They also had pillows that you're looking at right now. Um, most of them were around $25. They were very beautiful looking and again, the quality was there. These are jewelry boxes that I was actually rather impressed with. They were very, very decently priced. They had lots of selection, different sizes, uh, beautiful colors. I think they had pink, black, and then the rattan one that I just showed you. I honestly love these and I was very impressed with the price as well. This shelf here is a beautiful shelf. It's very boho-y, but $125 I personally wouldn't pay for it. I did feel the quality and it did not feel like the quality was all that great but it is a very cute shelf and I guess I can't really speak on the quality unless I actually have the item. These are my favorite. Anything pink I love, but these were silicone like muffin pans, loaf pans, and like little cupcake pans. And because they're pink, I just love them even more. But they were also very cheaply priced as well, like $8, $6, um, which is very impressive, especially for quality that they were. And then these are some food storage containers. And again, quality was pretty good as well. Now these fabric bins here, comparable to Walmart price-wise, I just had a lot more selections. I found hangers, pretty basic, pretty comparable to other stores, but lots of selection. And then they had a ton, and I mean a ton, of baskets, organization bins, all varying different prices, different styles, so I was actually very impressed with the storage options here. Prices were decent as well. Terrible. Again, like I said. I did like these crates that I'm about to show you and I did pick one up as well in the green color. For only $12 I thought that was a steal. Thank you. 
these bins, they had two different sizes. So I believe it was $10 for the, the bigger one here and then $6 for the smaller one. They do have lids though, which is really nice. And because they have lids, it makes them very stackable. Now this is starting to get into the toy section. The toy section was not super huge, but definitely had enough of a selection. Where they did have some name brand stuff like Nerf and Barbie, Hot Wheels. And then they also have, as showing right now, this brand Anko. I think that's Zeller's Kmart brand, where they had a bunch of like, wooden toys and like paper toys that were definitely more affordable. Super cute. They had lots of options. So Back to that Anko brand. Pretty decently priced once again. And then they did have a lot of board games as well. The price the same as any other store. Now these are some decor that I absolutely love. Give me like Pottery Barn vibes, uh, but for like way, way cheaper. So. I definitely recommend going here for like decor if you're looking for like a much cheaper option. Now coming up here is a beautiful sideboard. I think that's what they're called, but it was rather expensive. I want to say it was about $200. Just for the size, it was a little bit spicy, but still cute. And this pink shell vase here, I loved it and it must've been popular because there was only one on the shelf. More fake plants, more decor vases. They had a ton of trays. more vases. They had some side tables. I actually really like these cylinder looking ones that, I, that you see here. This one here. Love it. Here's some more fake plants, vases, the pink. I'm absolutely in love with the pink. So now we're approaching the pet stuff. They did have actually quite a good selection. This section was actually pretty busy, so I was only able to get a few items that they had, but at least it'll give you a little bit of an idea. Now this is like some vlogging stuff, which I was not expecting them to have any like technology stuff. Then they had this bamboo monitor stand. They had a small selection of sports equipment, so scooters, they had some jump ropes, some badminton set tennis balls. Now getting into women's clothing, they had a pretty small selection of clothes, but it's pretty good for just a store opening up. The only thing is that I found the prices to be a little bit on the steep side. Depending on the item, they did have a few basics, like these t-shirts for decently priced, but other than that, I probably wouldn't find myself shopping for clothing here. So now just getting into some of the bathroom stuff that they had and toiletry stuff. They had a lot of soap dispensers and soap holders in various colors, good for decor. They had shower caddies, soap dispensers, mirrors, toilet brushes, a lot of variations for the bathroom. Then they had a couple of vacuum cleaners, lots of stuff to help clean up after pets if you have pets, which I know a lot of people do. The 
And they had a lot of kitchen gadgets and cheap stuff that mostly everyone uses like spatulas, peelers, pot holders, etc. I, of course, immediately got drawn to the pink. If I had a place of my own, I would be buying absolutely everything in pink. They had a lot of dishes selections as well. They had several different colors, patterns. The prices were decent as well. Hi guys! So I just got home from my little adventure today and I did go into Zellers and I wasn't really sure what to expect. They had a whole lot of selection of like kitchen items, toys, pet stuff, clothing and smaller furniture items. Pretty impressed overall. I did get a couple of items that I will show you. First thing I got is just this collapsible green container. I'm just gonna kind of set it beside my desk and it's gonna just put like my extra books in that I don't have space for. I found this. It's like a two-tier round turntable. It's clear, has two levels and I guess it spins so you can easily access like your skincare and um, whatever else you wanna put in there. So I'm gonna put it in my bathroom. Last but not least, I got a bottle opener slash corkscrew. I got it while well, one, I don't have one, um, and two, it's pink, so I had to get it and it was only $3. Super cute, super small haul, but I just got a couple of things that I felt that I actually really needed. And then I did take like pictures of things that I would like to get in the future. But yeah, really great experience. Um, Hi guys, voiceover Erica here. While editing this video, I realized that I forgot to make an ending and the video kind of just abruptly ended. So here I am. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you kind of a good idea and a glimpse of what the new Zeller stores are like. Maybe it motivated you to go shopping. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos coming soon. Bye guys!